Now to a brand new musical critics are calling a quote girl power romp in a cotton candy jukebox musical. <laughs> yes. Very Will Gans here. You have much no idea how much he practiced. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we had to get it all together. Critics and Whit Johnson say. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Juliet is a story all about second chances. What if Juliet had a life and love after Romeo? And what if Anne Hathaway, Shakespeare's wife, not the Oscar winning actress, had a hand in the rewrite? I sat down with the actress behind that role and some of the powerhouse team behind Broadway's newest hit, take a look. Thus from my lips by thine my sin is purged. What happens when you remix Romeo and Juliet with some of the greatest pop songs of all time? And Juliet is the confetti-filled pyrotechnic party that has Broadway bursting with bop after nonstop bop. We've taken Romeo and Juliet, the story that we think we all know, and we've completely flipped the script. The Racking up nine Tony Award nominations, including one for Broadway veteran Betsy Wolf. And I grew up in a small town in California, and the only knowledge that I had about this thing called Broadway was watching the Tony Awards one night a year. So um, it's very, very special. We can now see your heart and see you as a, a divine actress standing there, and it never fails. The nominated book of the musical penned by an Emmy award-winning writer behind one of the most beloved sitcoms like ever, David. Oh my God, ew, David. Where did the idea come from? Um, well, I was concussed at the time, <laughs> which probably explains a lot. And Max Martin and his uh, producers gave me a playlist of all of Max's music. And he is responsible for the most number one hits behind the Beatles. Max Martin is kind of the Shakespeare of pop music. And up for best choreography, Jennifer Weber putting her spin on dances from Kesha to Backstreet Boys. This is music that you want to dance to. Seeing that joy explode through the cast and into the audience every night is just, it's the reason why we do theater. And some of the superstars behind the show's mega hits watching on from the audience. I kind of like happened to look up towards a box and went, oh, that is Katy Perry. <laughs> She was saying how she loved the choreography of Roar and she wanted to learn a little bit. I knew that I was going to have a good time and then suddenly I was crying. Bring you in with the laughs and then hit you with the heart, hopefully. It's a very uplifting and joyous show. We are a joyous mirror of what the world could be like if we were our very best selves always. It's not without conflict and it's not without difficulties and you get through it through love. That was Melanie LeBerry speaking at the end. She's been with the show's inception in the UK. She also played Juliet's nurse on the West End and in Canada. Now she's stealing scenes at the Stephen Sondheim Theater right here on Broadway. She's got an Ariana Grande number that's amazing and a really touching rendition of a pink song that I can't quite say the name of on TV. And the cast of Anne Juliet will perform live on GMA Tuesday, May 30th. Wow. Oh. Hey, I mean, listen, this was, we were just talking about it. It is funny, it is entertaining. Joyous is the right word. You're picking confetti out of your hair when you're leaving the And, and Gio yeah. claims I can take my kids, too. Yeah, oh, see, I, I will back this up this claim. Broadway, you will? Gio. Yes. Because Gio recommended a different show before. And, okay, uh, do we Gio. have to go you're there? We'll be right the back, folks. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Will. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.